Hey, good morning. I am not here today, as you can see, but we have some things going on. And uh, first of all, as you notice, the tables are down. I figured I would give the substitute a break and not have the substitute have to be wrangling all of you guys all the time. So the tables are down, but don't worry. Tomorrow they'll be back up. Just want to remind you about your behavior for the sub. Um, I want to remind you that you need to do an awesome job. And I made it a pretty good day for you, so I expect nothing but great behavior. The third thing is what we're doing. We're going to do a Pythagorean spiral or a Pythagorean snail today. I'm going to show you how that works. Some things you're going to need to do the Pythagorean snail. You're going to need a paper with a dot near the center. It doesn't have to be exactly in the center, but you need a piece of paper with a dot in the middle. Okay? Then you need a ruler, one of these, and you need an index card, one of these, with one centimeter marks on the corners. So I'm going to mark at one centimeter. So I marked in one centimeter from the corners, and then you'll need a pencil, which you probably needed to make your marks on your index card. From there, we're going to start at our mark in the middle, and we are going to draw a triangle. So you're using the one centimeter marks and then drawing your hypotenuse. And then the process is really easy. You just keep repeating. Draw your one centimeter legs coming off the top corner. So I'm going to make sure the index card is on the hypotenuse and that my one centimeter comes off my top corner. And then I'll draw that hypotenuse. And then I'll just keep repeating the process. I'll take the one centimeter mark, put it on my new top corner, and mark it, draw it, and draw it. And I'll just keep repeating that process all the way around until I fill the page, which is what it says. Repeat steps two and three until you fill the page. Good luck. I hope it goes well. When you're finished, feel free to color it. We're going to do a bunch of math activities with this tomorrow. Have a great day. Do a good job.